Hey guys, we're back. It's Elizabeth Crawford at J10 Automotive. And what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to show you how to move a um, spring on this on the valve, on the intake valve. Now, you have a couple simple um, tools. You have a seat clamp that compresses the spring. You have your rubber hammer so that when you get it back in, it makes sure that the keepers are set. And you have a magnet to take the keepers out. And I'll be showing you how we do that. So, first we're gonna take this clamp. We're gonna put, make sure that this is on the valve, the valve head part of the intake valve. And this is gonna go around the spring, like that to the hill. And then we want to make sure that's aligned up. Then we're going to take this handle here on the end. We're going to pull up on it. Now, you see how that loosened that up, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this magnet and we're going to pull out the valve, valve keeper. Well, I'm going to try to anyway. And we'll set these to the side, but you want to make sure that you put them in the right place and put them together because th this, if it falls into the cylinder, you're going to have a whole lot of pain. It's going to be a pain. Thank you. Now, what we're going to do at this point, I'm going to show you how to release the spring, the compression from the spring. You want to grab this handle once again, and we're going to hold it, and we're going to pull it really slowly and you'll see the tension come off now that the tension is off we can take the compression the clamp off this is our spring and there's the top we don't want to lose it lose it that stays inside this would be the valve we'll push that out here's our valve stem here's the margin and here's the face. This is the intake valve. How we know that, really quickly, intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust. It's larger than the exhaust, okay? So, we'll, at this point we will take um, a micrometer or some other measuring device to measure the length on our um, the valve stem. We want to measure within the valve guide too to make sure that it's set at its right points. With that, we're going to put this back together real quick. And that goes back in. And as you see, there are eight of these on there. So you would repeat this eight times. And I can't find the hole. Now there's a procedure that you can do um, that helps to make the margin uh, match very well. Man, this is crazy. Okay, there we go. And we'll push up. We'll take our spring, put that back on. We're going to take our compression tool, and we're going to put that back on, making sure that we keep everything in alignment. Again, that has to go to the hilt, and the bottom part has to be on the head. And we slowly push that. And then we're going to take our valve keepers. Now, the deal with these are is, if you look at that, one side is larger than the other, and then it has like a little divot in it. That's what keeps it inside. Uh oh, that's one thing you don't want to do. We'll take this, drop that in there. There it is. Magnets are wonderful things, aren't they? And again, we're going to make sure that we put the larger part on the top. And down inside the little gap.
Did it in two parts? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And here we go again. Just gonna drop it in there just a little bit so that you can get both of them in. Make sure you're putting the right side in. The narrow side goes in first. See? And then that goes in there like that. Okay? Now at this point, we're gonna take and we're gonna release, release the compression off the spring and you see how that comes up and matches up and meets on one side then we're going to just take the mallet and we're just going to make sure we set it so just a couple of nice hits make sure it's gone in and that's how you remove every install the spring on the valve on the intake valve so thanks for watching God bless you and have a wonderful. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. I appreciate all the questions.